New Relief is here. There is a new payment schedule for the fourth round of checks. Lawmakers have announced that $1,600 checks are sent out immediately and automatically soon. Many people are waiting for the new round of fourth stimulus payments, especially as inflation continues to surge. Democratic and Republican lawmakers have held discussions about another round of relief and spending it as they seek to help the U.S. economic recovery. The efforts have focused primarily on authorizing billions of dollars, and now one additional state is actually sending out surprise checks this month. These checks could be worth as much as $1,600, and about 360,000 eligible recipients will receive the payments this month. The surprise stimulus money will be going out to some residents of Pennsylvania. This was first announced in August by the governor. A press release from the governor's office said that older Pennsylvanians and people with disabilities who qualify for a rebate on rent or relief taxes will be receiving even more money this year than they anticipated. This money will be sent to Pennsylvania residents who were approved for a property tax or a rent rebate in 2021. The new payment is a one-time bonus that will equal up to 70% of the amount of the original rebate. The individual was received in 2021, and that means the maximum payment will be around $1,600. The money for these one-time bonuses will come from federal funds allocated to Pennsylvania by the American Rescue Plan Act. And that was the last major crisis relief legislation that was signed into law by the federal government. Governor Wolf said in a statement, I am proud that bonus rebates are starting to rally Pennsylvanians this week. For older adults in particular, many of whom are living on a fixed income, a bonus and a property tax and rent rebate program this year will be a game changer. These bonus rebates help older adults and Pennsylvanians and disabilities stay in their homes. If you live in Pennsylvania and received a property tax or a rent rebate in 2021, expect to see soon this surprise additional payment deposited into your account. If it does not apply to you though, there may be a chance you'll get some extra help from the government this year. Currently, there are at least 21 states issuing stimulus checks. Stimulus money to you. Joe Manchin has already weighed on President Biden's awaited student loan forgiveness. Uh, I think we should vote on whether we continue massive tax breaks for billionaires so that Jeff Bezos in a given year doesn't pay a nickel in taxes. I think we should vote on whether we end Citizens United so that billionaires are not able to buy elections as they're doing it right now as we speak. I think we should vote on whether or not Medicare should negotiate prescription drug prices so that we can lower the cost of uh, prescription drugs. In the Information has been released for millions of people. Payment schedule for this month has been released from Social Security beneficiaries. Now, I hear some big news for you guys that are on Social Security. A new bill is making its way through Congress. It's been pushing for an end to the federal taxes being taken out of Social Security benefits. Starting in 2023, proposed by Democratic Representative Angie Craig, You Earned It, You Keep It Act eliminates federal government taxes on Social Security payments. In an official statement, she said, Social Security is a promise that we have made to the American people. If you work hard and play by the rules, the dignity of a secure retirement will be within your reach. She added that this move would allow seniors to keep the benefits. Craig also argued that the enactment of this legislation will be a solution to help combat rising inflation for those living on fixed incomes. A recent survey by the Senior Citizens League, conducted from January to February of this year, found that 50% of respondents said they used their savings to adjust for inflation and that many have no savings at all. The Democratic representative proposal comes at a time when fears of Social Security's potential insolvency are growing. The 2021 annual report from the Social Security Board of Trustees noted that the program's reserves will be fully depleted by 2034, 2035. If nothing is done to further invest, Craig's proposed act recommends paying for more of the revenue deficit caused by removing taxation from Social Security benefits, raising the cap on combined old age survivors and disability and insurance taxes. Craig has, also been a Craig has also been behind a few other pieces of inflation era legislation, introducing two recent bills that are passed in the House, the year-round Fuel Choice Act and the strengthening the agricultural and an Illinois Democrat who is seeking to retain a seat in the House this November in the midterms, recently claimed that the funding for the IRS is going towards resources that the agency needs. And Jenny Ellen and Chuck Reddick, who were appointed by the former president, insist that the additional enforcement funds will target the wealthy and not middle-class taxpayers. I'll tell you who built America, the middle class. And the people who built the middle class are organized labor, unions, unions, unions. That's not hyperbole. That's a fact. That's a straight fact. The executive order I'm going to sign today 
is going to help ensure that we build a better America, we build it right, and we build it on time, and we build it cheaper than it would have been otherwise. You know, the executive order is making sure that federal construction projects get completed on time and under budget. Now, this new money will help to reverse more than a decade of underfunding of the IRS. The IRS budget was cut sharply during the 2010s and remains about 20% below its 2020 le- below its 2010 level. The Inflation Reduction Act provides $80 billion over 10 years for the IRS to rebuild and train its staff and make long-term investments in computer systems, which are already out of date. The added funding is necessary to fill a large budget hole from a decade of cuts and enable the IRS to fulfill its core responsibilities of helping taxpayers navigate a tax system and enforcing the nation's tax laws. So new information has just been released by Congress. Lawmakers have announced some new deposit date for when Americans can expect to receive thousands of dollars in extra cash. These checks will be automatically deposited. Democrats who run state government celebrated this week, and while announcing that tax rebate checks began heading to 6 million taxpayers, the checks are worth more than a billion dollars. Rebates on income and property taxes are part of a $1 billion inflation relief package built into this year's budget. During a news conference, Governor J.B. Pritzker said, Everyone knows inflation is a global problem with local consequences. Prices at the pump and at the supermarket have taken Illinois families on a roller coaster ride over the past months. And with eight weeks remaining before the November midterms, the timing is perfect for Governor Pritzker and, ed- and every member of the General Assembly. Rebates will arrive by mail or direct deposit in the closing days of the campaign season, when voters make up their minds. Revenue Director David Harris said that individual taxpayers making less than 200 grand will receive a $50 rebate, with $100 to couples filing jointly earning less than 400 grand. Taxpayers will also receive $100 for a claim dependence up to three. Property tax rebates will be equal to the amount a homeowner claimed as a credit on income tax returns last year. That's up to $300. Governor Pritzker has a few other provisions to fight inflation. Other initiatives include a six-month freeze on an increased motor tax fuel and a year-long suspension of the sales tax on groceries. At the same time, more than a billion dollars is put aside for future emergency expenditures. There are several other states that have supposed and approved stimulus legislation. Thousands of residents could see refunds of $3,000 and $500 of a tax credit under a new package. The lawmakers in Michigan are discussing refunds and rebates for residents from the $7 billion state surplus. Now, the House Democratic Caucus has introduced a new six-bill package offering a hefty increase to earned income tax credit and a new rebate as well, referring to it as the Michigan Pocketbook Plan. Saving taxpayers money, clearing construction zones quickly, and ensuring that everything the federal government signs to contract to build is built to last. You guys really genuinely are the best in the world. Not, that's, that's not hyperbole. It's a fact. To do, to do that, we're using a tool that iron workers here know very well called project labor agreements. I know you all know it, but folks who may be watching this may 